so this is the 15th session on relative velocity we'll continue with the numerical which was just discussed just uh, in the last session 14th session we discussed this numerical in continuation okay so uh, we have to find out uh, so this video should be seen in continuation with 14th video because without that you can't uh, continue with this because the numerical problem is same as that in the previous session so 14th uh, this is the continuation of the 14th video okay so we have to find the vpg so all the details of this problem have been given in the 14th session so you can go in the 14th session and the link of the previous sessions are given in this uh, description box of this uh, video okay so you can access other videos also fine so our aim is not to find vpg so in the 14th session we took point a1 to be point a and we found out vpg we got 5i plus 32j uh, hat meter per second okay now we take the, some other point to be point a and then find vpg what we do we take a2 to be point a and then find vpg okay so uh, we take a2 to be point a a2 is also a midpoint of the rod and that is fixed in the rod frame it's a real location or imagine uh, it's a real location of rod frame that is its material point it is the material point of the rod frame it is the material point of the rod frame a2 fine so it's a real location of m so it is fixed in m so that we can, that also we can take to be point a okay so now we write down the value of vpg again formula for vpg again taking point a2 to be a so vpf instead of vpf we write vpg vpm we write vpm itself plus vaf instead of a we take a2 instead of f we take ground vaf instead of vf we write v a2 g fine v a2 g we write plus plus omega cross rpa2 rpa instead of a we take a2 so rpa2 we take omega cross rpa2 fine this is how we write vpg is equal to vpm plus va2g plus omega cross rpa2 fine so we have to find all these three terms and add them we get vpg so now we know first we have to know vpm vpm is already given vpm is the velocity of ring with respect to rod that is vpm and vpm is given to be i meter per second as given in the 14th session so vpm will be just equal to 5i hat meter per second okay now we have to know va2g we have to find va2g now how to find va2g that is the question how to determine va2g that is the question okay so va2g will be found in this way see a2 is a, just as i mentioned just now a2 is a material point of rod m okay as the rod rotates point a2 will also move accordingly with respect to ground so in this case you can see since the left end of the rod a1 is fixed in ground so point a2 will move in a circle with respect to ground whose center is at a1 and radius is equal to 5 meter so velocity of a point moving in a circle is given as omega r where r is the radius of circle omega is the angle of velocity of circular motion so v a2 g will have a magnitude of omega r where omega is equal to how much omega is given to be 4 radian per second and radius of circular motion of a2 is nothing but 5 meter so v a2 g will be written in this way v a2 g will be equal to magnitude of v a2 g into unit vector along direction of v a2 g so you can see a2 will move in a circle whose center is at a1 radius is 5 meter so if you take this draw this circle and omega is anti clockwise so a2 will move up here upward upward direction along positive y axis so in unit vector along direction of its motion is j hat and v a2 g will be omega into radius of circular motion omega is just equal to 4 4 radian per second omega and uh, radius of circular motion of a2 is nothing but 5 meter to so 4 into 5 into j hat that is equal to 20 j hat so v a2 g is equal to 20 j hat meter per second this is equal to v a2 g so v a2 g will be written as 20 j hat meter per second okay so v a2 g is also been found out now we have to know omega cross r p a2 now r p a2 is the vector from a2 to p so this is 8 meter this is 5 meter so this distance is 3 meter so rpa2 so omega cross rpa2 we have to find out okay i shall rub it okay we we'll remove this so rpa2 is the vector from a2 to p and you can see it is uh, this is 8 meter this is 5 meter this is 3 meter it is along positive x axis so rpa2 will be 3i okay fine 
सो ओमेगा क्रॉस आर पी टू विल बी वॉट ओमेगा क्रॉस आर पी ए टू विल बी रिटर्न एज ओमेगा एफ नो वी है इन द प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम इट वॉज फोर के फोर्टीन सेशन क्रॉस आर पी ए टू आर पी ए टू इज थ्री आई दिस इज कॉमा ओके दिस विल बी ट्वेल्व के क्रॉस आई विल बी जे ट्वेल्व जे हेट Now we substitute these values in this formula to get VPG. So VPG will be equal to VPM, that is 5i plus VA to G, which is 20j plus omega cross RPA to which is 12j. So this will add up to 5i. This will add up to 5i plus 20 plus 1232j meter per second. This is the same formula which you got in the fourteen session, where we took a one to be point a. Now we get the same result, but we now we have taken a two to be the point a. Okay, capital A. So we have got the same result again. Fine. Okay. So now what we do? We take a three to be point a, and then find V P G again. Fine. So now I draw it. Okay. See what I am telling is now. I am telling that more you. More you are conversant with the concepts, more your problem solving ability will be greatly enhanced. Will be greatly enhanced, especially in JEE Advanced. See, just by uh, just by memorizing concepts, you can't uh, crack Advanced JEE Advanced. Your concept should be very clear. Then you you get a much more enhanced capability to solve difficult problems in a very short time. So concept should be clear as far as possible. Fine. So now we take a three to be point a, and then we find this uh, VPG. So now we take this to be point a, a three. As can be seen, coordinates of a three are three comma four. So a three is not a material point of the rod, but it's an imaginary location of rod. Okay, so a three is an imaginary location of rod. That meaning that a three is fixed with respect to rod, but a three is not fixed with respect to ground. So this this point has to be kept in mind. So a three is uh, definitely uh, imaginary. It's an imaginary location of rod M, rod frame M. It's not a material uh, material point. It's not its real location. It's an imaginary location. Fine. So we now take a three to be A and we find VPG. So for for that we again write down the formula. So what do we write? See, VPG is equal to VPM, VPF instead of VPF. We write VPG. We put our VPF. Plus B A F instead of A we take A three and instead of F we take ground we write B A three G plus omega cross R P A instead of A we take A three R P A three fine so V P G will be written as V P M plus B A three G plus omega cross R P A three okay now to know V P G we have to know this this and this so this is known already five meter per second in positive x axis. So it, it is five meter per second along positive x-axis. So VPM is known to be five i meter per second that is given. Now we have to find these two terms. Now we have to know V A three G and we have to know omega cross R P A three. They are also to be written down in IJ notation. Then only we can solve the problem. Fine. So now see how we are going to solve this. We have to know V A three G. So now the rod uh, M rotates with its left hand even fixed at origin. So what what how will a three move with respect to ground? See a three is uh, you must be very clear. A three is fixed with respect to rod, not with respect to ground. A three is a uh, is an imaginary location of rod frame M. So it's uh, even though a three is uh, has been shown outside the rod, but you should not under, uh, wrongly understand that a three is fixed with respect to rod. No, a three is moving with respect fixed with respect to ground. No, a three is not fixed with respect to ground. A three is fixed with respect to rod, and as the rod will rotate, A three will accordingly move with respect to ground. Fine. As the rod will rotate with respect to ground, accordingly, point A three of rod frame will also accordingly move with respect to ground. Now, in this case, the left end of the rod, yeah, that is A one, is fixed in ground at point two. Okay. So, rod is rotating about point A one. So, as the rod will rotate, A three will also move accordingly. In this case, it can be seen that A three will move in a circular path, whose center will be at A one, and whose radius will be at this distance. Let's call it say R. 
so a3 will move in a circular path whose center with respect to ground whose center is at a1 and whose radius is this line from 0 comma 0 to 3 comma 4 so velocity of a3 will be in circular motion will be something like this with respect to ground this one so this this arrow is the direction of v a 3 g okay so now we have to know this v a 3 g fine so what i do i rub it okay i'll just uh, show it here this i'll rub it okay i'll just uh, rub it just to get more space fine so see it's like this so we have to find v a 3 g so i write it here fine see it's like this So this is the point A3, this is the point A3, its coordinates are 3 comma 4, fine, 3 comma 4 are the coordinates of point A3 of the rod. So this is the point O which is uh, also the left hand A1 of the rod which is fixed in ground. So this is the distance R, okay, and uh, this is the angle say theta, fine. And as mentioned just now, A3 move in a, will move in a circle whose center is at A1 radius R. Omega is anti-clockwise. So if you draw the circle of the circular motion of A3, it's like something like this. So velocity of A3 will be something like this. Tangent to the circle. And at, that is at right angles to this radius. Okay. So R cos theta will be equal to 3 meter on this quadrant geometry theory. So we write as R cos theta is equal to just equal to 3 meter. And we write r sin theta equal to 4 meter. So r cos theta is 3 and r sin theta is equal to 4. So we write down the expression for this VA3G. Achha, okay, so um, see, I'll just uh, rub it here. Okay, fine. So I write it here, A3, 3, 3 comma 4. I draw a parallel line here also, parallel to y axis. So see, this angle is theta. This is a parallel line parallel to x axis, alternate angles. This is also theta. This is 90 degree minus theta. This is 90 degree. So this is equal to theta. Fine. All right. This angle is equal to how much? Theta. So what is uh, VA3G will be equal to? We will write VA3 in this way. VA3G. This is nothing but the speed of A3 with respect to ground. And A3 moves in a circular path whose so radius is R. So V A three G will be omega R, circular motion formula. Omega into R. Omega is given to be four radian per second, as you know it. Four into R. R is the root under three square plus four square. But I write it as R itself. So V A three G is this much. Now we have to write out in write it down in vector notation. So we will write like this. V A three G. See V A three G is equal to omega R cos theta plus omega R, omega R cos theta j plus omega R sine theta into minus i. What do we write? Omega r cos theta j hat plus omega r sin theta into minus i hat. Why minus i hat? See, omega r is in this way, v a 3 g. So if we write it in v a 3 g cos theta j hat, positive y axis, and plus omega r sin theta along this direction, opposite to x axis, that is along minus i. Okay? Alright, fine. So what do we get? Now omega is known to be how much? Omega is known to be 4. And how much is R cos theta? 3. 3 into J hat. Omega is again 4. R is equal to 3. Uh, I'll just rub it. Omega is 4. R sin theta is 4. So R 4 into minus I hat. Fine. So how much we get? 12 J hat minus 16 I hat. We, re re we rearrange it. Write down I hat first. Just notation. This will be minus 16 i hat plus 12 j hat. This is the VA3G term. This term also we have got. Okay, fine. So VA3G is equal to, uh, that is equal to, uh, um, so yeah, this is just equal to um, omega r cos theta. Okay, fine. Cos 3. So 12 j hat minus 16 i hat. So this is, this is the value of VA3G. Now we only have to know this omega cross RPA3. As RPA3 is the vector from this point A3 to the sliding ring. This is RPA3. Fine. Now we have to know RPA3 also we have to know. Okay. So I rub it here. Okay. Fine. Alright. 
So how do you know RPA3 now? That is the problem. How to determine RPA3? RPA3 is from this point P to the ring. Uh, coordinates of ring are how much? Ring is given to be 8 comma 0. And this is 3 comma 4. So this vector is equal to this vector plus this vector from triangle law vector addition. So this vector is equal to 8i. That is equal to this vector. That is 3i plus 4j. 3i plus 4j plus rpa3. So rpa3 are 8i minus 3i, 5i minus 4j. Fine. rpa3 is 5i minus 4j. So all terms have been fully evaluated. Now we substitute all these terms here and evaluate this. Then we get vpg. Fine. So all terms have been evaluated. So now what I do, I rub them. Okay, fine. So I write all the terms here. So how much we get VPG? See, VPG will be like this. VPG will be equal to VPN. VPN is nothing but uh, 5i as found just now. Stated in the previous video also. Plus VA3G. VA3G is minus 16i plus 12j. Plus 12j hat, okay, fine. Plus omega cross RPA3. Omega we know is how much? 4k. 4k cross RPA3. RPA3 is how much? 5i minus 4j. 5i minus 4j, fine, alright. Now this we evaluate 5i um, minus 16i. So 5i minus 16i is nothing but minus 11i. Plus 12j, 4k cross 5i, 4 into 520, k hat cross i hat, j hat, so plus 20j hat, and 4k cross minus 4j, 4 into 4 is minus, uh, 4 into 4 is 16, minus 16, k hat cross j hat, k hat cross j hat is minus i hat, 2 minus meaning plus, so this will be plus, it will be 16 i hat, okay, so this will come out to be how much, this again we get the same result as you can see it just now. We get the result as how much? Tell me. See, it's like this. We get the result as uh, result we should get is this. So VPG minus 11i plus 16i. That is just 5i. And 12 plus 20, 32j. So we get the same result again. So this is, I'm just demonstrating that uh, whichever location of rod frame you take to be point A, you get same VPG. Any location of rod frame can be taken to a point A, capital A. Only capital A should be fixed with respect to rod. And then we can calculate VPG and we get the same result again. 5i plus 32j. Okay. So now, now we found VPG by three different methods. By three different methods we found VPG. Now, uh, now I am telling one more, one more thing I will tell. We can also find VPG by another method, that concept. Which we discussed just now in the 14th video. That is VPF is equal to VPM plus VP dash F. The P dash is the material point of material or the imaginary location of M, which is in contact with P at time t. And VP dash F meaning velocity of this point P dash with respect to F, meaning that in this case is ground. So we found this VPG by another method, okay, by using that concept. So this I'll rub it, okay. So, VPG evaluated in a different way. Second method for evaluating VPG. Second method for evaluating VPG. Second method for evaluating what? VPG. For that we write down the formula here. What was the formula which you derived? VPF is equal to VPM plus VP dash F. So VPF, instead of P we write P, instead of F we write G, is equal to VPM. VPM is same as VPM, where M denotes the rod frame, plus VP dash F, instead of P we VP dash F, and F, instead of F we write take G. So VPG is equal to VPM plus VP dash G. Achha, what is this P dash? P dash is a location of M which coincides with P. 
and v p dash g meaning velocity of this point p dash with respect to ground. So if we know these two terms, we get v p g. So this is much more easier as you will see just now. So v p m we know already. That is given to us v p m five i hat meter per second v p m fine. Now we have to know v p dash g. So just now I repeated it just now. What is this p dash? P dash is a location of rod frame which is in contact with the slider p at that instant. So I'll drop this one. Okay. See, I'll draw that relevant diagram again here. I'll draw that relevant diagram here again. Okay. See, it's like this. So this is x-axis. This is y-axis. This is the rod. This is the ring. Ring taken to be a point P. Whose distance from the left end is eight meter. So P dash is which point? P dash is the location of the rod frame which is in contact with the ring at that instant. So P dash will just be this point. P dash and B coincide, overlap each other at that instant. So its P dash is the material point of rod in this case, which just overlaps with this point P, slider P. Okay. So now you can see that P dash. What is this V P dash G? Velocity of P dash with respect to ground. That is V P dash G. V p dash g is nothing but the velocity of p dash with respect to ground. Now p dash is uh, rod rotates with its left hand even fixed at origin. So as seen from ground frame, p dash will move in a circular motion whose center is at this point O and whose radius is equal to eight meter and whose omega is same as four radian per second anti-clockwise. So p dash, if you draw the trajectory of p dash, it will be something like this. So p dash moves in a circle whose center is here and radius is equal to eight meter and omega is four radian per second anti-clockwise. So velocity of p dash will be in this direction, positive y direction. Tangent to circle at this point. Tangent to circle at this point. Tangent will be along positive y axis. And magnitude of v p dash g will be omega into this radius for eight meter. So v p dash g is the magnitude of v p dash g omega into radius. Omega is how much? Four. And radius is how much? Eight. So that is just thirty two j me thirty two meter per second. And this is along positive y direction. That is along j hat. So v p dash g will be written as v p dash g will be written as thirty two j hat meter per second. This is how we write v p dash g. So we substitute here. We get v p g now. So v p g is equal to v p m that is equal to five i hat plus v p dash g, which is nothing but thirty two j thirty two j hat meter per second. So again, we get the same answer as you can see it. So these are various ways of finding the velocity with respect to rotating frames. Velocities of uh, locations uh, in terms of velocity of some rotating frame this is a standard way. So you can either take uh, you have two different approach for finding VPG. Either to take some convenient location of M to be point A and then evaluate VPG as we did just now. We took A one, we took A two, then we took A three and we found VPG same result. Or you can use this formula itself and you can then you can uh, use formulas to get the same answer. So this in 15 session I have told you about this velocity. Okay, in 16 session what we'll do we'll take up the problem relating to acceleration of APG. That will take up in 16 session. Okay, now I'll rub them, rub them. Okay, so this is the end of it. Fine, all right. So 16 session we'll continue in continuation of this 15 session. Okay, and then we'll evaluate APG. All right. So now we close this.